Okay, I finished my work day. I got two packages, so I want to open those with you guys. The first one, I don't know what this is. So this is actually from a brand that I will be working with. Ooh, these are beautiful. So this brand is called All Dashing, and this is the Instant Manicure. These are basically press-on nails. So look at this beautiful, like jewel tone green. This one is called, the second one, oh, so pretty. It's like pink. Shades of pink blush tones with like champagne gold glitter accent nails. Chloe, stop. You have watermelon on your chin. Stop it. That's the second pack. Oh, look at the third pack. They are white with like deep navy tones with like gold accents. These are so cute. So yeah, these are press on nails. You guys know I've been into trying different kinds of nails just because I mean, not that I go to the nail salon anyway. Oh my goodness, you get so many. So this is by the brand All Dashing. And they did send these to me to try, but you get a lot of them. You get an alcohol prep pad and, ooh, these are the actual like adhesive parts. So I can't wait to use these. I'm super excited about this. But yeah, so far you guys, I am loving these nails. I will include a picture at the end so you guys can see them. But I just like that this is something different. So thanks again to All Dashing for sending me over some of your press on nails. I'll see how these wear, but you know, for something quick. Hi guys, happy Thursday. I'm not supposed to be vlogging today, but um, I just got a Bartesian package in the mail from my friend. She's so sweet. She called me and said, I think something arrived for you. And I'm like, uh, really? I found the package. So if you guys didn't know, um, she bought me a Bartesian. Hold on, you guys are on my new tripod, but I'm just trying to make sure this is straight. She bought me a Bartesian for my birthday. I will insert a picture here. It's a premium cocktail machine that makes amazing premium cocktails. It's basically like a Keurig. You have four canisters that you fill up with different liquors and then you put the capsule in the holder. You press a few buttons, you tell it the strength to make it and you have your premium cocktail. So she sent me some refills. She wasn't supposed to, but I thank her dearly. Uh, if you guys know anything about me and shopping, I do not like paying for shipping. I don't know what it is, but I just don't like paying for shipping. So they have some new capsules coming out July 13th, I believe, which is in a few days. And so I was going to wait until then because I wanted to get the Low Cal Cosmo and a few other ones. So she went ahead and just sent me these. So sweet. Um, such a surprise, like, and then I thought she told me these were coming tomorrow. So it's even more of a surprise. So I wanted to just share this little package with you guys and also give you an update on my forever roses. So I'll get these out of the in the last vlog I was telling you guys about the problems that I have with my phone holder for my phone tripod. Well, the company UBZ finally sent me over a replacement. So excellent customer service to UBZ. So shout out to them. I will link that tripod down below. I'm loving all these companies with amazing customer service. The first capsule package that I got from Bartesian is the Uptown Rocks. Uptown Rocks, Uptown Rocks. When my friend sent me the Bartesian, she sent me a sampler pack. And that had like um, Uptown Rocks, Cosmo, Margarita, Manhattan. Um, what's that thing? Se no, not Sex on the Beach. What's that thing called? Long Island Iced Tea. Yeah. And here's a pro tip. 
if you have a Bartesian, like let's say you like these different drink mixes, but you're not into whiskey or you're not into gin, just take the canister of vodka out and put it where the gin goes. Because how the machine works is you're supposed to put each specific liquor in its own holder. And so if you have vodka in rum and you want a drink with vodka, and it gives you rum, like you have to be sure that you're putting them in the right place. But if you don't drink those liquors, just fill them with whatever you want. Uptown Rocks is an elegant gin drink featuring peach and lemon with a graceful cilantro kick. Made best with an herbal gin with a smooth finish for this refreshing cocktail. So when I used my sampler pack, I made the Uptown Rocks with vodka and it tasted amazing. It's not technically an Uptown Rocks, but you know, it worked. Cosmo, which love, love, love. So it says vodka meets cranberry and lime balanced by the sweetness of orange. So, so good. I really like that these um, cocktail mixes in the capsule, they don't taste very syrupy. They just taste like you're getting the cocktail from a bartender. Like it's a premium cocktail mix. So that's what I really like about this. Margarita mixes. And I know somebody's gonna be super excited about this. And now I have hopefully another at least month's worth of Bartesian pods. Now, because I've been actually having such success for the past week in my weight loss endeavors, I'm going back to my one Bartesian drink a week. So every Friday, I allow myself to have one. That was such, I mean, she did tell me she was sending it, but it was such a surprise because I was waiting until the 13th, but this is so cool. So I'm excited to have a libation tomorrow. She's so sweet. Happy Friday. Today is Fun Friday. And if you can't tell by my hat, we are going swimming. So I have not been in my pool all year because I don't even know. I'm not sure what the reason is, but I haven't been. So today I'm going to go swimming. I'm going to have lunch outside. I have my hat for sun protection. I cannot find my... Uh, tanning oil so we'll see but I do want to tan my legs and my stomach my upper body always gets really really dark in the summer just because I'm always like having my arms out but because I'm not going on any vacations this year I figured let me at least get a tan so I can feel like I went somewhere and luxuriated on an ocean or pool deck so that's what I'm doing 
I also have a few errands to run before I do that. Let me check my to-do list for today. I think I'm gonna do a video um, about productivity while working from home uh, or during quarantine. I know at the beginning of quarantine, people asked me for a video on that and I probably just got sidetracked, so I apologize. But um, one of the biggest tips that I have for those of you who are now transitioning or have now transitioned into working from home is that having a schedule and a routine helps immensely Though I don't leave the house daily for work, um, every night or at the end of the workday, I make a to-do list for myself, which keeps me on track for the next day. Um, it gives me a sense of structure, so I know when I wake up, even though I'm at home, like, you still have to actually get up, get out of the bed, brush your teeth, wash your face, put on sunscreen, and be productive. So, every day I make a to-do list, <laughs> so for today... I have a few errands to run, pick up my food, and make sure I have everything in my pool bag, and I'll do a what's in my bag when I actually get outside. Hand sanitizer. I need to bring some sanitizing wipes. A lip balm, I have a book. I have a hair clip, hat, sunscreen. Ooh, I wanna bring some grapes. I have my towel, okay. Yeah, so that's what I do. Like, I have a schedule for every day. It really just keeps me on track. I would also say if you can set up a workspace in your home, I chose um, the dining room just because it's a more central location in my home. So Chloe has space if she wants to run around and play in here or if she just wants to sunbathe and take a nap, she can do that. Um, I have other people right now using the offices and I just didn't want to go down to the basement office, so I'm right here. But having a dedicated workspace also helps. My biggest tip, even if you can't set up in a separate room, would be to not work in bed. That is something that like, I always tell people to seriously caution. Because to me, your bedroom should be a place of peace. Somewhere where you go to relax, unwind, to rest up and rejuvenate. And uh, I think two nights ago, I actually took my laptop to bed because I just wanted to um, finish up a few things before I fell asleep. And it felt so awkward. Like I used to do work in bed when I was in like college and grad school and stuff, but I wouldn't recommend it. I would recommend to have a separate space, even if you're just working at the kitchen counter or table. Yeah, your bedroom should be a place of peace. And yeah, that's just my little tip. But let me write that down because I do need to do a video on that. Work from home tips. Let's see. Also, yesterday on Instagram, we made my homemade marinara. Now, I have to shout out to my friend Kiera, and I will link her channel down below and the video she did down below because uh, she's the one who inspired me to make my own homemade sauce. I have another friend, Kendra, who has told me that it's so easy and it's so good, but here's a little fun fact about me, you guys. I don't really like cooking. Well, maybe I do, but I've been cooking more just because I have more people in my home but before like this year I was not cooking this much and when I'm just cooking for myself I'm cooking like a 30 minute meal and I'm cooking a meal that can last a few days so I was really only cooking like two three times a week max and so I think I'm enjoying cooking a little more just because I have to do it so often uh, so I would never previously have thought of making my own marinara like what but it's actually not that hard the only problem I had yesterday and I'll include the snaps in this um, video because it'll be funny my blender broke so <laughs> someone had a little accident a few weeks ago and I didn't realize that the, they cracked the blender so while I was blending or pureeing the sauce, it was going everywhere. Like literally sauce was on my kitchen walls, on the floor, all over my Keurig. It was just a hot mess. It was so funny though, because there was a sign on it that said something like, it said something to the effect of don't use, but it didn't say don't use. So I was like, well, let me just use it this one last time. Mm -mm. So that happened, but the sauce actually did turn out really well. They liked it. Um, I didn't eat it. I had hot wing, well, I had baked oven roasted 
air fryer wings and a salad because I'm trying to be good so that I can have what I want today, which I will show you guys. Um, so that was a big mess. And then I had to ask you guys for recommendations for a blender because now I need a new blender. So yeah, just wanted to update you guys on that. But we had such a great time chatting yesterday on Instagram. That was fun. I did that because one of you guys put in my Q&A that you would like for me to share my recipes when I'm making them. And so I put the recipe on the screen and I hope you guys enjoyed that. I hope you guys try it also. It does take about 30 to 40 extra minutes, but it's so worth it. Let me tie up some loose ends that I need to do before I get going. And I will see you guys when we are outside. I have a contract that I need to sign before I get outside and start my fun Friday with you all. Stop being mean to people. Chloe. I did this last year also, if you guys are following me. First things first, sunscreen. Y'all probably weren't able to see it. I'm gonna link this down below. This is my favorite face sunscreen. Putting it on on camera so you guys can see me that it does not make me gray. Now, I am super, super hot and sweaty right now, but yeah. And my skin has been very red and irritated just because I've had so much mask me lather on all of my sunscreen. You guys, when I tried on my bikini this morning, it was so large. Bought my hand sanitizer. I felt so skinny. Today we have Popeyes. It's Friday, it's fun Friday. I wanted something yummy. This is the Popeyes spicy chicken sandwich. I'm so excited. I have my iPad, a book. I'm gonna watch some YouTube while I eat. Oh, it just feels so good to be outside. I feel like I'm on. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. I was about to say, I feel like I'm on vacation. <laughs> Not with these bugs, though. Happy Stylish Mama just put out a video. I am so red. You guys, mask me has been wreaking havoc on my face. And it's honestly been affecting my self-esteem because I try to do a lot to like lessen the acne that I have, but having to wear a mask has just made my face erupt. Happy Stylish Mommy, <laughs> her video is all about simple and healthy summer treats while I'm eating Popeyes. So this bikini top is from Forever 21 Plus and my bottoms are a leopard pair from Forever 21 Plus as well. It just feels nice to be in water. I feel like I went on vacation. I had to wait until it was nearing wash day because you know, I didn't want to have to prematurely wash my hair. And then we had so much rain the past week and a half in Atlanta. This is a good day for being outside. I just feel so like free and happy. Mm. If you guys can get to a pool this summer, if you can't go on vacation, I would highly suggest it. Like I haven't even cracked open my book. Um, let me show you guys what I'm gonna be rereading this month. Taraji P. Henson's Around the Way Girl. Shout out to my friend Kelly. She actually gifted me with this book. 
I think those are crickets. You'll have to excuse them. This is Georgia. <laughs> but um, yeah, she gifted me with this book and I read it, but I wanted to reread it. This little um, phone tripod was one of the best things I bought all year. Sorry, giving you so much boob action, but it is what it is. But yeah, I'm having the best day. I'm actually happy the sun isn't all the way out because it's not too, too hot. Um, and this is actually a bath towel. I need to buy <laughs> a new pool towel because this is what happened. Last year, I had a really cute watermelon one. And then one day it was in the laundry room and I saw a bug and to kill it, I sprayed bleach towards it and it got all over my um, my beach towel. So I threw it away. But let's talk about what I take to the pool. So sorry if you guys are bouncy, but you're on like a pool chair. So I always keep a good book or a magazine just because when it's really sunny or even days like this, I like to stay out here for like two or three hours. And it's always great to have a good book, something to read. So I always have some reading material. Ah! Next thing, my Evian spray. Okay, the bugs, can y'all go over there? Because this just cools you down. It's just a water mist. So that's nice. I always bring my sun hat. This is by Vince Camuto. If I can find something similar, I will link it. But I got this last year from Nordstrom Rack for like 30 bucks. I have my Jack Black lip balm because this has SPF in it also. And I don't know about you guys, but when I'm at the pool, my lips always get super dry. So I always have that. Super Goop, this is the sunscreen for my body, a towel, my phone, and then my beach bag or pool bag or travel bag. <laughs> I'll insert a picture. It is my Goyard uh, Saint, Saint Louise and then my face sunscreen which I'll insert a picture of because it's over there it is the Neutrogena clear face breakout free SPF 55 but yeah I'm gonna read my book try to get some sun wherever it is oh yeah and sunglasses how could I forget so these are the P Australia Desi collaboration and these are the high key mini this is the smaller version of the aviator style I will link this below as well and this is like a smoky black type of vibe. Yeah, I'm going to get back to reading my book and trying to tan my lower half of my body. I will see you guys a little later. I'm a hot girl. I'm going to listen to Destiny's Child and Swim. I've been on a really big like old school R&B kick. I mean, I'm kind of always on one. for my first time in my pool all year <sighs> my face was burning but I think it's because I've been using so many retinol and benzoyl peroxide products because of mask me my other thought from this is it's nice having shorter hair <laughs> I feel like it's gonna take less time for me to wash and dry it I don't know, I'm just enjoying it. But yeah, my face was really burning while I was out there. Thank goodness for my hat because I did keep my hat on and that shielded me from the sun a lot. I did get a tan on my arm. So yeah, I'm going to take a shower, wash my hair. I'm also going to be using my protein treatments. I'm trying to get back in the routine of being really, really healthy and careful with my hair care routine. So I went to Sally's Beauty Supply Store a few days ago and I bought their Afigy, not keratin, protein treatment. I'll insert a picture on the screen. So I'm gonna do that to my hair since I did just get a relaxer. And I'm also gonna do a deep conditioner. Well, maybe I won't do a deep conditioner this time, 
but I'll definitely do the protein treatment. Just trying to get back on schedule with being really, really healthy about my hair and my maintenance because I'm really simplistic with my hair. So if I can get away with not doing a protein treatment, I will, but I really need to do one at least every other month, I'm thinking. I might need to do some research about that. So yeah, let me go attack this hair and cool off. I will see you guys in about an hour. so I finished doing my one little thumb <laughs> I'm so pooped I didn't even finish my cocktail but I'm really sleepy I think I'm going to go eat dinner and then crash I have to wake up tomorrow and film so I have to do my hair so happy that I was able to get out and have some fun and forget even if just for two hours that COVID is a thing any way I can like have a sense of normalcy, I'm all for that. So thanks for hanging with me today and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. That's how you're gonna open the vlog. Good morning, beautiful people. Oh, thank you. Oh, we just got up. You wagging that tail? You, you, you wanna tell them about the rough night we had last night? Last night, rather, Miss Grace decided to wake up around two to 3 a.m. asking to go potty. So I opened the door and let her go. She came back up. I was very shocked because she usually has to be forced back upstairs. Then she asked to go in her crate. Now I know you're wondering like, how in the world did your dog request and ask these things? Well, she's very vocal, so yeah. So I woke up, something just woke me up during the middle of the night and she was whining and I, she walked over to me and I said, do you have to go potty? And she jumped off the bed. That was her telling me she had to go. Then when she came back, she stood outside of her crate and was wagging her tail. So I said, do you want to go in your crate? She went in. 10 minutes later, I'm trying to drift back off to sleep and she's whining. So I put her, no, 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 she's whining. And so I said, you have to go potty again. And she starts running in circles. So she went potty twice. She came back upstairs. She finally went to sleep. More of the story is this morning, I am so drained. So I'm about to make a cup of coffee and work out because I don't even know how I'm going to survive today. Uh, today is a filming day. I have one two three videos to film i have some content to capture for instagram no i also have to cook so what am i cooking today i'm making pork chops so i need to go take those out of the freezer so we're gonna have a busy saturday happy saturday though you guys coffee is complete that's what it's looking like mm. a good cup of coffee it just changes your life wash and eat these grapes these are the cotton candy grapes baby you can't have a grape nope they're toxic i'm sorry no grapes i put on my express leggings which are a size large like who the hell do i think i am i think i've told you guys for at least a month now that I have a huge luxury birthday haul that I wanna do. And this is the last piece to come in. Let me go get some hand sanitizer. This haul is gonna be special because it's featuring 
some new categories of luxury that I've never shared. It's featuring some new brands that I have never had before. So this is um, one of the items. I won't show it now, of course, but what do you guys think it is? I will take a peek at it just to make sure that it is what I ordered. Ah, oh, she's so beautiful. And this purchase, I have to thank my girl T for. I will link her channel down below. She does a lot of fashion type of videos and she unboxed this maybe a few months ago. And when I saw it on her, I was like, that is so freaking cute. And then the next thing I have is actually an unboxing. This is the American Influencer Beauty Bundle. So the brand actually reached out to me. The website is aiaawards.com. And this is a bundle of a whole bunch of beauty products in like a subscription form. And... They wanted me to just try these products out. First of all, this is the cutest packaging. Okay, ooh, so you open it. Hey, Amanda Babes, I am thrilled to be partnering with the AIA Beauty Bundle to bring you these products, Beauty Simplified. It is at the core of our company. I create products with you in mind to make your beauty routine easier. Always appreciate it. I hope you enjoy your Manicada beauty goodies as these are some of my favorite products. We want to see your looks, so please follow and tag us at Manicada Beauty. I hope I'm saying that correctly. So let's get right into the box. The first thing I'm seeing is the Manicada Skin Care Hydration Happy Face Mist. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Oh, this smells so good. What's the scent? So let's try it. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Okay, I already love this. <laughs> so if you guys don't know, I'm not too much into face mist because I feel like, <sighs> what do they really do? But this smells amazing to help soothe, cleanse, revitalize, and strengthen the skin. So this would be great to use every day as part of your skincare routine, but honestly, how soothing and amazing this smells. I would like to use this at the pool. So I will be putting this in my pool bag. I love that. The next item is the Manicadar, and I really hope I'm saying this correctly, the Lux Lash Lash Serum. Makes your lashes appear thicker, shinier, and healthier. Now I have never used a lash serum. This is what the graphic on the back looks like. Um, as you guys can see, I have really short and straight lashes. Thank you to my Asian side of the family. So I usually just wear a mascara. So this says, apply one to two times daily to clean dry lashes. Allow serum to dry completely before applying a lash product. Okay, I'm actually gonna use this today. First of all, this packaging, this is so cute. So there's a little rhinestone on the top. And this is what that looks like. Okay, so I'm actually going to use this today. It is the Manicadar Step 3 Perfect Uptown Bronzer and Blush. That is really pretty. I think I will use this today as well. So this is your bronzer. It's a shimmery bronzer. And that looks like... That blush has some shimmer in it too, but it's like a satin toned. The next thing is the HD Perfecting Powder, which is just like a finishing powder. And I'll put the price of this box down below in case you guys wanna try it. And if I get any coupon code or anything, I will include that as well. Y'all, that spray, it reminds me of some body mist scent. Oh, ooh, it's super, super smooth. So it does blend in invisibly. Now the thing with me is that if I use an HD powder like this, I have to be careful where I use it because I don't want to look gray. And next I have the Mana Kadar Beauty Turn It Up Volumizing Mascara. Love this packaging as well. It's kind of interesting. I've never seen a mascara that has packaging like this. So let's see, this is a volumizing formula by the way. So you have a really thick brush that's shaped like an hourglass without the inverted part. Um, usually these are too big for my eyes just because I have such small hooded eyes. 
So I'd be interested to see how this works with my eye shape, just, you know, the brush, but excited to try that. And then the last thing is this Mana Kadar Beauty Step 3 Perfect Lip Locked Priming Gloss Stain. Hmm. So is it going to be like a liquid lipstick? Look at this color. Uh, that's like the true color. I want to swatch this on my hand because I'm just interested to see what type of formula this is. So thank you so much to AIA Beauty for the American Influencer Beauty Bundle. Uh, I'm super excited to try all my goodies. So I will leave this link down below as well as a coupon code if I am supplied with one. <sighs> Okay, so it's Mana Kadar Beauty. I just had to look that up so I pronounced it correctly. This is actually a video of her using this box to get ready. So I'm going to link this video down below. Just an update on this lip product. The Mana Kadar Lip Locked Priming Gloss Stain. So it definitely dries down to a gloss. But look how beautiful that color is. You know what? I'm putting this on now. <laughs> I'm excited. <laughs> Okay, it's very comfortable on. It doesn't have any shimmer in it. Now, of course, let's put you over here, so. Ooh. Mm-hmm, I like that. Let me get a little bit of work done while I finish my cafe. Let me go cool down, take a shower, and do my hair so I can start my hey day. Hey guys, so I finished my Nespresso unboxing. I decided to make my Bianca Leggero. Okay, now how do I turn this off? Okay, I don't know. I'll have to read the directions. But I made um, Bianco Leggero Espresso. I put a little bit of cream in it. It is amazing. I do like that this coffee... And the espresso is very, very creamy. Like if you look in my mug, it's super, super creamy. It's one thing when I was doing my research about the Nespresso machine overall, the coffee quality just seemed like a complete upgrade from a Keurig. So that's why I was also really excited to get this. I have two more videos to film. So I'm going to go take this makeup off and do that now. And I will see you guys in a few hours. beautiful people first of all I washed my hair what two days ago uh, because I went swimming I used the uh, Afigee protein two-step reconstructor or something like that it has revived my hair it is so soft and it feels so strong and just I'm loving it I think I'm gonna keep this cut but I wanted to tell you guys about the first time making a cup of my Nespresso coffee mm. Today I used caramel cookie, so good. The first thing I wanna say is that this coffee is strong, like strong, strong. I'm actually worried about what it's gonna do to me because I have been drinking uh, donut shop coffee. This is like on another level. Uh, I'm gonna be so energized today. I'm gonna clean my house. <laughs> I feel the caffeine. Like everyone who said Nespresso coffee makes K-Cups taste like watered down coffee. You were absolutely correct. This is a game changer, you guys. If you're drinking coffee from your Keurig and you're finding that it's just not getting you where you need to be, you might need to try an espresso. Not only is that machine sexy, but this coffee is amazing. And here's the thing. I'm not even like a coffee snob. Uh, I will drink Dunkin' Donuts, Starbucks, local coffee shops, um, anything. I think I might be a coffee snob now. The color was different. 
which is weird because it doesn't have any cream in it, I don't believe, but the color was different. It was like a light color and the froth, the froth alone from the machine, it was like sexy and sumptuous. Like I've never seen coffee froth and look creamy. I am hooked. I'm so hooked. Good morning. Happy Tuesday, people. It is early in the morning. I'm getting ready. Hey, boo. Hey, Miss Grace. Good morning. Good morning, beautiful. You look so lovely. <laughs> I'm ready to go meet. I am getting ready to go meet with my team. Ugh, I can't even think and speak this morning. Going to go do that. Hunting and gathering afterwards. Then coming back to start my work day. So it should be an interesting day. I'm pumped. It's like I'm so used to working from home and attending like Zoom meetings in just a presentable top. And now I actually have to put on real clothes. It's like, what do I wear? Like, is anyone else experiencing that? Like if you're working from home now and you're not usually working from home, how does it feel to put on real clothes? Like, I'm not used to it. <laughs> but let me finish getting dressed and go to this meeting. Um, yeah, I'm pumped. I will see you guys when I return from hunting and gathering. Would you like to say hello to the people? No? Okay. Bye. I'm doing my cleaning that I do when I go to the grocery store. We wipe everything down. I'm not saying you have to do it. I know many will not. But this is just what we choose to do. I'm using this disinfectant spray. Something that I got from uh, Staples when I told you guys a few weeks ago that I found disinfectant. And um, Staples had a coupon for $10 off. So I got two of these for like a dollar fifty. <laughs> I'm making some yo oh Japanese curry. So if you guys would like to see how I make my meals, I would suggest following me on Instagram. Um, whoops, I got you guys disinfected because I don't really like vlog every day during these weekly vlogs. But when I do cook, if I can remember and I have the time. I do like to put it on Instagram and I've made a meal highlight, like a recipe highlight, so that you guys can follow along, get some meal ideas because I love getting meal ideas from you guys. Last week I made jerk pork chops. I'm gonna have to insert a picture. You guys, they were amazing. And that's just something that somebody wanted me to make. Like, I'm not really a pork chop person, but a jerk pork chop, what? I think I also got um, another type of Jamaican seasoning today at the store because it was on sale. So it's been really helpful for me to experiment with new seasonings and I've really been enjoying Jamaican seasoning, so. Like, Keurig coffee could never. A Keurig coffee machine could never. <laughs> Shout out to Shamar. Now I wanna share with you guys what I bought to keep my Nespresso capsules in. Pretty much everybody who I follow who has an Nespresso, they use a different organization method. So they usually use like a little bowl or a drawer. But like, we don't have any more space for anything like that. And I'm trying to conserve counter space. So I bought an organization drawer that's similar to what I used when I was using my Keurig. And I just thought this would look nice because my machine has chrome finishing on it. So let me. I think I'm gonna name my Nespresso Nancy. Come on, Nancy. Ooh. She's so sexy. Nancy is something sexy, you guys. So ignoring everything that has to go in it, 
this is what the capsule holder looks like. So it's a drawer and it holds the capsules for the original and the Virtuo line, which is what I have. So yeah, let me fill this up. Okay, so quickly I'm seeing why people use the systems that go in the drawer, but look at my drawer. <laughs> uh, but now I get why they do it because this doesn't hold enough. So this is one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five. So this holds 20 Virtuo capsules. So I'm gonna fill it up with a few more that I have. Ooh, I'm so glad I have more vanilla custard. I guess I'll just store these um, in the cabinets under the drawer. Good morning, beautiful people. It is hot, hot, hot outside. I'm taking Miss Grace out so she can potty and do her business and get some fresh air. She loves going outside. Oh, look at that lovely new mark on my face from, you got it, mask me, Ooh, that gray hair. So just coming downstairs to start my day. I have like six packages that I need to open. So let me put you guys up and let's do a kitchen unboxing. Excuse me if my face looks dry. <laughs> I'm gonna be filming today, so I didn't bother putting on any of my um, quarantine skincare because my routine is different when I'm gonna be on camera. First thing is a gift for someone. So I won't be unboxing this on my channel. The next package is from Nespresso. And I'm not gonna say who this is from, but they watch this channel and <sighs> you know my love for you. <laughs> um, she just wanted to send me like a, a thank you, I appreciate you type of surprise, which I thought was so sweet. She never has to do this because like if you guys have ever DM'd me on Instagram with a question about like YouTube or editing or something, like you guys know that I am fully willing to help you guys in any way I can if it's something simple that I can help you with. And so I believe this is from her because I did not order anything from Espresso recently. She is the sweetest. Oh my good. What? What is this? I don't know what this is. First things first, I got another iced coffee Nespresso capsule like sample packet. So this is the Iced Ligero and Iced Forte, Iced Coffees. Ooh, I've never seen anything this large. Oh my goodness, oh, I could cry. Oh my goodness. <laughs> you guys. I could cry right now. I'm literally holding back tears. <laughs> you really know me. <laughs> oh my goodness. I was literally looking at these a few days ago and I said, just wait until you get your welcome gift. I got two, oh my gosh. I could cry right now. I have to text, I have to stop recording to text you. These are gorgeous. So I will link these glasses down below. This is gonna be perfect for iced coffee. Oh my God. Thank you so much. This is like literally the sweetest thing. Oh my gosh. These are beautiful. 
Oh, this is from High Mirror. Oh my gosh, you guys. So this company contacted me. The brand is High Mirror and they sell smart mirrors. So you guys might have seen these like on social media, on YouTube. I have not because I'm not a cool kid and like I never know about anything new. So this is the Slide Into Smart Beauty Mirror. I don't even know all the capabilities of this, but this is what it looks like. It has skin analysis and a touch panel. So this sounds super innovative. Okay, oh, this is so pretty. Oh, so this is the mirror portion. And then you have this stand back here. Wait, let's see. Which way? Oh, maybe it goes this way. <laughs> it's literally like an eye. Oh my goodness. You guys, it's lit. Like literally. Literally. High mirror. High mirror. High mirror. High mirror. This is what the home screen. Uh-uh. I'm not gonna connect it to a scale right now. This is what the home screen looks like. I'm gonna do the skin analyzer right now. Start your skin measurement now to get to know your skin better. Three, two, one. <laughs> okay, there's my gel looking photo. It's analyzing my picture. Let's see what it has to say. Okay, oh wow, this, oh wow. So it's telling me that I have dark spots, which I know, I have fine lines, I have roughness. I don't really have dark circles, not too much. My red spots and my pores are excellent. Thank goodness, I do a lot of exfoliation and peels and I don't have wrinkles. Wow, this is so cool. Look, it's showing where my large pores are. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I'm not gonna show you too much more of this because I don't wanna bore you, but this is really freaking cool. I've never really invested in a blender. Usually I just go to Target or Walmart and get something for 20 bucks and it never really does all the things I need it to do. So we like using a blender, of course, to blend smoothies to like crush ice for frozen drinks. Now I can use it to puree my marinara. You guys sent me suggestions and I wanna say 90% of you told me to go with this brand. Have you guessed what it is? It is the Ninja. So I got the Ninja Auto IQ, which is like their base model. For some reason, I thought Ninjas were like $400. It has a button for on and off, smoothies, ice crushing, ice cream. You have your pulse setting, your high, your medium, and your low. Let me go find a counter to put this on. Those are all the unboxings I have for you guys today. And yes, you can see my bra for this shirt. <laughs> I just wanted to wear it. Petite family, enjoy your coffee.
You've made your egg already? I figured you guys could watch me do my makeup. So I'm filming, uh, what am I filming? A Shein haul. It should be a rather interesting one. But you guys said you would like a haul. Well, some of you, most of you. <laughs> uh, also, I have my own thoughts about Shein. I don't necessarily, uh, well, I'll get into it in the video. It's just influencer stuff, nothing personal. Uh, but how I look at things, like, I don't necessarily subscribe to cancel culture. I know I've said in the past that, like, Sephora is canceled on Instagram videos. But when I say that, I think I mean it in a different way. Uh, as you guys know, I still shop at Sephora. I'm just not a diehard fan anymore. And once again with Sephora, it's nothing personal. It's just the fact that I don't feel like... Let me just open the window because that's really yellow. I just don't feel like Sephora is as client-centered as they used to be, especially when I used to work there. So that's the only reason why I'm not like a Sephora junkie anymore. But that doesn't mean that I'm not going to shop there because uh, last month for my birthday, I got a ton of things from Sephora. I still buy people gifts from Sephora. Like I still use Sephora as a resource when I'm researching certain products. I like Sephora. I'm just not in love with Sephora. Um, and I also believe in second chances. And I think that's my issue with cancel culture is that like when most people say something is canceled, they mean like screw the brand, screw the person, screw whatever. And they kind of go on a smear campaign so that other people can cancel them. And like I said, people do what you want. Uh, I just, I'm not really a fan of cancel culture. I think that everybody deserves second chances. I'm not perfect. I've gotten second chances. And I think that brands and companies alike should as well. And ultimately, I can put my personal feelings aside and just focus on a brand overall like there are certain brands that I support that you know their mission isn't wholeheartedly my my mission but I still support them <sighs> I also need to do I should have made this a video because I need to do an updated summer makeup routine because so I know I have a lot of new subscribers and whenever I do makeup, they're like, oh, what's your routine? And I'm like, oh, I need to do an updated routine. I cannot believe that it is July 15th and we are still on lockdown. If you didn't know, Atlanta went back to phase one of opening because we were among the first few states to actually open our economy and uh, we're seeing the ramifications of that. Every, it's like every day when I check coronavirus cases and, well, I guess Georgia overall, we're hitting a new record. And it's pretty sad because I think at this point, most of the people who are spreading COVID are like in my cohort, like people, well, not my, ho not my cohort, because when I look at statistically the people who are spreading it, it's like 29 and under. So it's not people in their 30s. They don't make up the majority group that is contracting the virus. But we are large spreaders just because the young people are out living their entire best lives. <laughs> now, do your thing. Um, I will not be gallivanting. I am enjoying watching those of you who are living your life. It is kind of fun watching you guys out there enjoying your summer. Not to say that I'm not enjoying my summer because, you know, I am. I'm still enjoying life, but you know what I mean. Ultimately, at the end of the day, we just have to do what is best for ourselves and focus on us. Okay, so let me concentrate on this face and finish my brows. 
I will link all the products that I'm using down below. I know uh, one day, it was either this week or last week on Instagram, I showed you guys like a little before and after while I was doing my makeup to film. And a lot of you guys asked me about my foundation and concealer. So I'm just going to quickly talk about that. The foundation I use is the NARS All Day Luminous. I love this because it's like a a natural satin finish. It's definitely not matte, but you don't look like dewy. And so it's really natural. I like it. But what sold me on this is the coverage. Like I know you guys see what my skin looks like right now. Like I have a lot of pigmentation issues. We all know that. So for me, something that is really important is a foundation that is lightweight yet has amazing coverage. And this is the only foundation that I have found to have the amount of coverage for such a lightweight texture. So I will always repurchase that. This is in the shade Tahoe. It's not usually my summer color, but right now, like I'm not my summer color, so it works. And the concealer that I'm using is the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer in the color Sand. And I believe I got a backup of this. Um, the sand color is what I use for like a natural beat, but if I'm going to like work or church, I would use the color, another one, the color honey. So it's a little darker. Uh, I don't use a super, super bright concealer just because I don't want to look like I am super bright, like another color and then like my skin tone, but there are no rules in makeup. If you want to go five shades lighter, be my guest. This is probably just like one and a half shades lighter than my skin. I'll do this side first. So as you guys can see, this is literally one layer of foundation not blended in. Like, look at my complexion. This is why I love this. Like, it's not perfect, but <laughs> I love this foundation so much. It's not one of the most popular foundations, I don't think. But as long as NARS doesn't discontinue it, I will continue to purchase it because I love it. I'm gonna finish the rest of my complexion. Today I'm actually gonna use the um, cosmetics that I got from Mana Kadar Beauty. So the first one is this lash serum. Put this on my lashes now. Let's see how it works. It's clear. And the wand reminds me of CoverGirl Lash Blast. Do you guys remember when that was like everyone's favorite mascara? Gonna use my favorite bronzer. I'm obsessed with this Charlotte Tilbury, guys. I think I want to get a new bronzer brush, though. It's one of my favorite nudes. Well, nudie pink. And then on top... On top, I'm using the Mana Kadar Sienna. This is their Lip Locked Priming Gloss Stain. This is really pretty. Wait, that's a lie. I have to put my mascara and blush on. So, for blush, I'm going to use the Mana Kadar. And this came in the AIA beauty box so I'll link that down below as well as a coupon code um, somebody already hit me up on Instagram wanting to know the coupon code but I'll definitely include it in this video oh wow that's actually very pretty I'm not usually a fan of blush and bronzer duos because I just I'm afraid that they're gonna get messy but this is beautiful mm, it has a nice little sheen to it also So this is the Mana Kadar Turn It Up Volumizing Mascara in Jet Black. 
the brush is super large. So I don't know how that's gonna work with my small eyes, but let's see. Oh, wow. It does a nice job. It's doing a nice job of lengthening. Just a little quick beat. This is like my everyday look. Now I'm gonna go get dressed and film this video. Okay. Just wanted to show you guys the finished look. You will get to see this dress in the clothing haul and try on, which I'm super excited about because I love these pieces. Now, they are very summer appropriate. I mean, like I'm not going on vacation this year, but next year I'll already be ready. So planning ahead. Tonight I am making Japanese golden curry. So if you want to see how to make it, I have, well, I've added a recipe highlight on my page, but I will add all the stories to that highlight. So instead of putting it in this video, because that'll be like double the filming, uh, just head over to my Instagram and you can get the recipe. It is delicious. So super excited about that. It's also fairly simple. The most time intensive part is cutting all the vegetables, which I need to just go ahead and get a chopper because that would make everything a lot more easy. <laughs> Audible, two, four, five, six. No, don't run away. Wanna say hi to the people? Wanna say hi to the people? Look. Look, Chloe. So, I have had my Nespresso Iced Forte. Look at all this gray. The Iced Forte is my new favorite. When I looked online, it's supposed to be the stronger of the ice varieties, but I don't find it to be that strong. But maybe it's because I put so much cream in it. <sighs> Using my Mana Kadar uh, Facial Mist. I love the way this smells. Um, so I'm about to do a workout. I think I've already showed my workout in this vlog, so I won't bore you guys, <laughs> but I will link my at-home workout playlist down below as well as the workout that I'm doing for July. So I'm gonna do that because I've missed a few days of working out um, this routine. I've been working out every day, but it hasn't been this routine. So I'm gonna put my hair up and do that. Hopefully I will have some packages arrive today because I'm supposed to be filming. So we'll see how that goes. Also, I have on my cute little Shein lounge set. It's actually a pajama set, but I wouldn't really wear this to bed. <laughs> um, I will link this set down below. I'm also doing a Shein haul and try on, and that should be up, I don't know, before this video or after, but if it's um, before this video, I will link it as well. Hey guys, so I finished working out. I cleaned two bathrooms. I'm telling you that an espresso machine just has my energy on another level. And now I'm about to try out my press on nails. So once again, I will link these down below. These are so, so cute. I have not worn actual press on nails in a long time, let me get my nail buffer. So I'm excited to see how long these nails last because I'm very rough on my nails. Oh, this is awesome. So these already come with the adhesive on the underside, huh? That might be a game changer. A 
Okay, so I have put all of the nails on. Let me just take down my hair. They are a little longer than I typically like my nails, but that's okay. Let me file this one down because this one is really long. Now, what I can say just right off the bat is that this adhesive is very strong. Uh, I don't think I've ever used an adhesive <laughs> with press-on nails that's this strong. So, if you guys are looking for an alternative to a gel manicure like I usually do or going to the salon because I know they're probably closed still in some states. Also, if you just want something fun to like change up your look, this would be like... This is really cool. Um, so yeah, let me finish filing them and I'll come back and show you guys what the finished product looks like. Okay, my nails are done. So they're this really pretty pink blush nude gold sparkle set. I will put the name across the screen because I don't think it's on this set. But so far, I actually really like these. Um, I think having the adhesive attached onto the underside of the nail actually helps with your adhesion because these feel like really secure now you guys are going to see me through the next week <laughs> so this is at the end of this vlog but at the beginning of the next vlog we'll see what my final verdict is but i think if you're looking for something just really quick and easy and fun to put on maybe you have an event and you don't have time to do your nails maybe you just want to switch it up for a few days and have something that's really different um this was really easy like it took me less than 20 minutes from start to finish i did have to file them a lot more than probably most people just because i always have a hard time with my nail beds like some of these nails didn't fit perfectly but we made it work but overall i really like these press on nails and i'm just happy that you get so many i'll see how these wear but you know for something quick and easy i'm not expecting these to last like a super super long time but i just really like the fact that they're fun and really really easy to apply i don't know what else i'm going to be doing today so i'm going to end this week's vlog here i hope you guys enjoyed this week's vlog i hope you have a great start to your next week please stay safe and healthy and happy and sane and i will see you guys in the next video bye